Hi, this is Scott from Georgia College and State University. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a switch statement to write a program that will ask user to enter the course name and then will print out if the course is upper level course or lower level course. Alright, let's get started. Firstly, the program will ask the user to enter a course name and then the system will read the course as a string from keyboard. The expected format is a two-lettered major abbreviation followed by a four-digit code like CS1301. We have to notice that there is no space between major abbreviation and code. So, the function of the program is to determine if course is upper level or lower level. The lower level code begins with the digit 1 or 2, like the course is here at the left side. The upper level code begins with the digit 3 or 4, like the course is here on the right side. In addition, the program will display message course not recognized if the digit code is not 1, 2, 3, or 4, like the course is here at the bottom. Alright, let's look into the program analysis. We know that the third character of course specifies the level. For example, CS1301, the third character 1, of which the index number is 2, that determines the level. So next, once we read CS1301 from the user keyboard input, we are going to retrieve the third digit from the course using the char at 2 method and store it in a char variable called level. And finally, we are going to use a switch statement to print out the appropriate message depending on level. So, here is the code that implements the mechanism we described in the previous page. The first line, we declare a string variable called course and assign it with the value that user inputs from the keyboard. And next line, we declare a char variable called level and assign it with the third character that retrieved from the string variable course. Then, we use switch statement to determine which case to branch to according to the value of level which is the result of the user input. For example, if level is 1, the switch will jump to case 1 and then system.out.println lower level course will get executed. If the value in level is 4, the switch will jump to case 4 and the system.out.println upper level course will get executed. If the value in level matches none of these cases here, um, the switch will jump directly to the default. As the result, the system will print out course not recognized. We may notice that both case 1 and case 2 they are performing the same task, which is to print out lower level course. And both case 3 and case 4 they are printing out upper level course. So in this scenario, we can implement OR in a switch statement to make it easier. So, the code here performs exactly the same function as the code in the previous page. The only difference is that we combine the case 1 with case 2 and the case 3 with case 4. So, if the switch expression level matches either case 1 or case 2, the statement system.out.println lower level course will get executed. Same thing goes with case 3 and case 4. We will do a demo in JGrasp. So, oh, here is the JGrasp. After we set up scanner keyboard on the first line, we declare two variables here. The first one is a string variable course, which is used to store the course the user enters. And the second one is a char variable level, which is used to store the first digit of the course number. And then we print out the information to prompt the user to enter the course name. And then we read the course name from the user keyboard input and store the course name in the course variable. And next, we use char at 2 method to retrieve the third digit of the course name and store the number into the level char variable. So, finally, we use switch statement to determine the level of course and also to print out the corresponding course level, which are already explained in the PowerPoint previously. So, let's try to compile and run the program.
let's try CS3100. The result is the course is upper level course, exactly as we expected. So what happens is when the program reads CS3100 from the user input, and it will retrieve the third character, which is number three, and it will go to the switch expression here, and the switch statement will try to find any match. So apparently, case number three matches the switch expression, which will lead to the execution of this statement. So that's why the computer will print out the course is upper level course on the screen. So that's everything for the tutorial. Thank you for watching.